Welcome back to Blue Exorcist Anime Review Special Number One. Yep, because if I got finished reviewing the actual manga, I'm already cut up the series. In a way, but except for this chapter, I watched the entire series. So you're thinking, what else is there for the series? Well, there's actually a couple things. One, there's still the manga, so coming out, and of course, there's the light novels, and that's basically it. When it comes to this particular series, hmm? this is our viewing the 113 chapter of the manga, which is this is the title. Okay, yep, yeah, SSC 40 colon double O D. Yes, that is serious the name of this title, and this is part of the Blue Knight investigation arc. Chapter starts off with a couple guys in a laboratory. Seeing that apparently somebody's trying against them, yeah, th th these are people part of the Lumen the part of the the Exorcist. And we see AAA coming in on via a smartphone. Yes, a smartphone. Basically, thanking them for cooperation. Of course, it's basically looking for a guy named Dragusu, and we cut to well, basically Yukio with the Illuminati. Where he's got basically an eye patch because his eye got damaged recently. And they're just discussing stuff. We see a laboratory. Like some of his amazing achievement. We see one of the members of Illuminati. One who's got, I think this is the Demon Eater, I believe it is. Yes, this is Demon Eater. The one from the Impure King arc. I believe this is supposed to be... Well, I think this is supposed. I don't think it's Lucifer per se. I think it's one of the other sons of Satan. Mm -hmm. And of course, he's thanking everybody, creating a new world. Like everyone's like protecting him. Like apparently, the father and daughter. Yep. A bunch of more talking, and then we see like a shark basically doing some talking as well. That's like some activation of a chamber. Yukio is basically talking about flames. More talking to the shark. But yeah, some of this chapter base this chapter is mostly lots and lots of talking. Like, oh my gosh, wow. Like almost like near like several sentences to take up only speech balloons. Talking about some ring. And of course, well apparently their plan is to if he's just longer father, like, huh? Like crucial the window, and of course Yuki basically is just playing with his glasses for some reason. He has this thing where he has uh, intentionally do a lot in the series. He's pushing up his glasses, even though the glasses are perfect on his face. He says something very interesting. He says, Did you know last year he was to a senior level conference back in Oh? It hardly matters now, but we were discussing matters and for counteracting Illuminati. And now, and I ask questions, I answer questions about Tito, suspect member of your organization. So, in the end, they never made me a promise to tell anyone about it. And I signed a contract of Morneth. Basically, like a seal thing. So, a contract that serves as a weapon. Like, that's why, and then all of a sudden, this. Guy shows up. It says, Lucapia, Guardian of East and West. And, well, it's very India. The pocket. Yeah, it's these two guys who just show up. Never seen these guys before. Or they apparently work for Yukio. What is this? Protect the signee. And basically, Yuki asks him to do one thing. And apparently, these guys are his familiar. He's like, I ask you, destroy this airship. It's like, very well. Let's begin with a little warm up. And this airship basically gets heavily damaged. Yeah, apparently, they're on a freaking war uh, airship. Which, it looks like it has a very similar appearance of the helicarriers from Marvel Comics. Yeah, if you look at this airship. Uh, I know I can't see via the glare, but yeah, it looks like a shield hero carrier, in a way. 
Surprised they still have airships nowadays. Mm -hmm. We see a guy with a globe. And apparently it's revealed that they're actually in this... This guy is apparently... I think it's supposed to be lightning. Yeah, lightning. Who's trying to find out where the heck they are? They're in the sky and above the Arctic Circle. Explains their thing yourself. They got four towards the clouds. This weird thing there. And then Triple A comes back. It says, Understood, we'll take the field with the Atlantic e Angel e Legion. No, you must command the Air Forces, but Gamma the Legion. But give me the Legion. As you wish. The clouds have cleared. It is time for battle. That's basically what he says. And then, of course, we see more rockets basically at the airship. Like, they're gonna die. They're gonna do it. And of course, there's some flames show up. It's like, Commander! Yep, trying to figure out who it is. And, and they're trying to take him up, but stop. He's got to save his protection. And of course, well, the guy gets hit by, I think it's supposed to be his daughter. Like, you want to destroy Dilma Luminars? More talking. Forget this, he move. And then we cut to something really weird. It's like, okay, we get this back up. And then we cut to Kamaru and Bond's father talking about Rin's sword. Apparently it's damaged, needs to be reforged. Because yes, the yes, sword isn't the blade, it's in Hilden's end scab board, basically the holder. He says, the hilt and scabbard, the mountain seal Rin's flame. If they're unharmed or can they seal Amaru's flame again, they can come in handy. They could. In any case, they should stay near Rin. I'll take the blade and return to the mountains. Like, okay. I'll find Sir Phyllis and... Hmm. And all of a sudden, the Visto just pops up out of nowhere. And he says, ah, this Amuchi is warm. Goes perfectly. He's like... Come on, if you want to take all hips, like, and of course, Cover is like, yeah, he's like, guys, Sir Phyllis, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how the heck did he get here? Yeah, and it actually is explained how the heck he got there. It's like, Sir, sorry, but Cover isn't currently on, isn't currently at the Faust Mansion. He went a long journey, long but short journey, journey to where he's at. If you want to see him, step in there. Maybe a shortcut. Okay, how do you get in this room? Via a dresser drawer. <laughs> okay. And of course, Kamara was like, okay, thank you. And then he hops inside the drawer and apparently closes right behind him. Somehow. And of course, Bond was like, so Phyllis, long time of see you. And, and, and of course, Phyllis was like, long time of see you, RCO. Yeah, this is the high priest. What are the chances of success? I don't know. It's like every time. And the guy's like, ow. It's his head. It's like, I wonder where he is. And apparently he runs to sees, sees Yukio with very updated guns. Yeah, apparently he's raided Luminati's armory. And then all of a sudden, the chapter ends him smiling. Oh yeah, apparently his eyes fixed now. And he's face to face with his twin brother. Yep. Who apparently is kind of back to normal in a way. It says, next chapter hits September 3rd. Man, this was an awkward chapter. It's not a terrible chapter. It's pretty awkward. It's like, like most of this chapter is lots and lots of talking. It's not like halfway through. We finally see something happen. Something interesting. Where apparently Yu-Gi-Oh! has turned against the Illuminati. For some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, and Phil and Mephisto show up like that toward the end of the chapter completely out of nowhere. I'm glad the fact Ren finally made a return after being absent for the past few chapters. Yeah. Now, in case you probably watching this thing for the first time, figure out why am I calling the paddle in AAA? That's his initials: Arthur, Augustine, and Je Angel. I call him AAA because that's pretty much his initials. Mm -hmm. And plus, it's more easy to say than simply call him simply the power. That, yeah, it's AAA. Yeah. But this is an okay. Mostly, I would I would have basically given this chapter if the if they came up with stuff basically do by halfway through, I would have given basically maybe a seven point five. But because of the shocking stuff that happens in this chapter, I'm gonna give this chapter roughly eight point five out of ten. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that's it for this particular view. 
Now, I know for a fact My Hero Academia did come out today, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Okay? But do you see the next few? Bye.